This story takes us back to a winter night several years ago when reports came streaming out of a small Arkansas town northeast of Little Rock about birds falling out of the sky. By morning, thousands of red-winged blackbird carcasses covered the area around the town of Beebe. One ornithologist suggested that the flock could have been hit by lightning or high-altitude hail. The idea of birds falling out of the sky made for ominous headlines, but others noticed that this happened the night of December 31st, New Year's Eve 2010, which immediately suggested the idea of fireworks. Here we can see the WSR-88D NEXRAD imagery. This is showing some showers and thunderstorms moving out of the central Arkansas area earlier in the evening. But we go forward to about 10 or 11 o'clock and you can see something unusual. These are in fact the blackbirds radiating out from the town of Beebe. And take a look at the time in the top right. That corresponds to just before midnight on New Year's Eve. The Dutch have done some interesting research showing that fireworks do cause radar blooms and do cause mass dispersions of birds. Using radar tools like GR Level 2, we can actually use shape files to bring up street level data that can help us pinpoint exactly where each of those bird dispersals took place and give us an idea exactly where in town this happened. The incident was investigated by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. They found that people were targeting a blackbird roost along Wynwood Drive with fireworks. However, no arrests were made. These blackbirds fanned out over two or three hours of fireworks, and they covered an area of about 120 square miles. These blackbirds were pretty much blind. They have no night vision any better than humans have, so a lot of them were colliding and bumping into buildings, trees, and anything that was low to the ground. One interesting tool we can look at to see what happened is velocity. This is radar velocity coming to and from the radar. And measuring this plume of birds that have fanned out across the area, we see that there's motion towards the radar of about 30 knots or about 35 miles an hour. And there's also outbound velocity. And that paints what we call a couplet. This is showing divergence an outward fanning away of birds in all directions, very similar to some of the patterns we have in outflowish thunderstorms. This is what we call a divergence couplet. It's a very classic radar signature. One tool that's severely underused by meteorologists is spectrum width. For an example of this, take a look at this cell earlier in the evening out to the east. This is rain. And if we look at the spectrum width display, we see a bunch of gray, which indicates low diversity of scatterers. And what I mean by this is if we zoom in very close and go down to one bin, everything in that bin, and this bin is measuring only about a city block wide, everything in there is moving about the same speed. And that's what we expect in a large, homogeneous, quiet area of falling rain. But take a look at the plume of birds near Beebe. If we look at the spectrum width of that, very high diversity showing motion of birds in many, many directions within a bin. The average motion, of course, is outwards, as we showed you in that velocity image. But within each bin, there's a very large variety of motion taking place. And that's very classic of what we have with birds and insects and other biological scatterers. Though we may never know the reason for what happened in Arkansas back in 2011 and 2012, that did provide a very interesting case for meteorologists. <laughs>